everyone, it's Melody Lane here. I am going to be showing you how to use the gift box punch board. That's later in the video. Here are the boxes I made with my gift box punch board. These are the first boxes I made. Okay, before we get to the gift box punch board, I want to show you my giveaway for my Patreon page. And Patreon is kind of like, it's kind of like public television tries to get people to pledge money and then if you pledge so much, you get something back. Well, that's kind of what the Patreon site does. There's perks for different amounts that you pledge. And I, ha if you pledge $15, you get to be in a drawing for a giveaway and it stops at 50 people. No more than 50 people can get in the drawing and the prize is worth between $25 and $500. It depends on how many people are pledging. So, right now I only have two pledges, so if you want to get in on it, good chance of winning. And this prize package is worth over $95 retail value. I didn't spend $95. You guys know I use coupons and sales. But I tried to get some good stuff, and I think I did because I bought me one, and I bought one for my giveaway, the gift box punch board. And here are some examples of what they did. And there's the ones on the front. But you can make all different sizes of boxes. It's so cool. So this is one of the prizes, and here's one of the prizes. Some stamps. These are Fisker stamps. All year greetings. A pen. Got some Paper Studio bling on a roll. It's like rhinestones. Paper Studio. And a pearl one also. Isn't that fun? It stays on. Opaque black ink. Some little frames, chipboard frames you could use for scrapbooking or for cards or anything fun. Some stickers. And these are 3D stickers, like they're puffed out stickers. They have an adhesive on the back and some recollections glitter glue. These colors are beautiful for Easter and spring. St. Patrick's Day is almost here. And here is some stickers for St. Patrick's Day. This wonderful paper. I love it. I had to buy me one too. So here's mine. I'll show it to you. It has foil and glitter paper. And then it also has like textured cardstock that's kind of like shiny. Look at all those colors. I love it. And here is some, the storage I put my brads in. I found more of these. So I have a lot of these little containers. So here's for brads or eyelets or charms or anything you want to put in here, buttons. Anything. You can make different sizes of the compartments. So you can make 12 small ones or you can make different sizes. It's awesome and they're really hard to find. Believe me, I looked everywhere. I finally found a site and they didn't have a whole lot left, but I got some. So now it's time to make some boxes. Here finally is my new camera angle. You can see everything from above. Our first box is going to be 2.5 by 2.5 by 2.5. So it's going to be a total square. And we're going to start with a paper that's 8 by 8. I have this cut to 8 by 8. And we put our first line to the medium. So we put the edge of the paper, put it to fit up against the edge here, and put this to the medium. And we punch. And then we follow this first score line here. And then follow the one across here. And then a diagonal score line here at the M for the medium. Then it stops right there. 
And if you notice, I have this swung out. So if I'm doing bigger boxes, I can swing that out and can score them all the way. So then we just turn our paper one time and we put it, we just do exactly what we just did. Put it to the medium line, follow that line there, punch, score, score, and score. And then we flip it over and put it up to the medium line just to punch. And actually you're punching out right here where these two score lines meet. See the, you're just punching that out. put it in here, do it in the punch backwards, see, okay, now to make the box, we fold it up on all the score lines, And then these score lines, you kind of press them into the middle, pinch them up. And if you wanted, you could put adhesive on here and stick these together. You could put them on the outside and fold them in like this also. And have them on the outside of the box if you wanted. I'm gonna put them on the inside as they suggest. Connect these two. And these two. And there I have my box. Now I could ink the edges or add ribbon and do things like that. For this one, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a window. Let's take that off. So to make a window, I'm going to use a Martha Stewart punch, punch or, or, all over the page. Is that what it's called? Punch all over the page. And let's do a punch right here. I'm going to hold it up to the light to see if it's in the middle. Can you tell? Can you see it a little bit? So, I'm gonna put this on here. That will snap into place. I'm gonna punch. There we go. A 
now we got a little window in the box. Now if you wanted to close this window in, say you were putting little pieces inside, little pieces of candy or something, or just wanted it closed, you could put a little piece of acetate. And I got this acetate, this is from a Cricut cartridge, this is for the older packaging ones, and I saved it and I cut out a piece that will fit this and just put some adhesive around the edges and stick it on there and now you have a little window Before I close this up again, I'm going to ink up my corners and my edges. I'm using this brown. This is also a Martha Stewart color. There we go. Cute little box. And you could put a bow on here. You could put ribbon around it. You can put embellishments on the outside. You could do so much. Now I'm going to make more boxes and you can watch me in high speed. I'm going to have different size boxes. Okay, this one, because these pieces are bigger than these pieces, I'm going to go ahead and show you a trick. So it's not so bulky on the inside. So I'm putting adhesive right inside each of these score lines. So the inside part will be scored together. So when you take it and fold it like this, they will be stuck together, okay? See, they're stuck together in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess on the inside. So then the inside will only be stuck like that. And you could, if you wanted to, put some adhesive along the edge of one of the of these. I'm gonna put adhesive along the score line of just one of the sides of these longer pieces. So then you can put the adhesive down.
in there. Oh, and I forgot to do this. Now we got a nice long box. You could stick perfume, a little bottle or something in there, or if you were going to give somebody some stickles or something. So now you got a long box. You could do anything you want with. You could add ribbon, add some embellishments, add a bow. Okay, and here's the boxes that I made. This is actually the side of the box, but it's the pretty side, so I wanted you to see it. And this too. And this one, I show you how to make a window. You can make a window in the box. Isn't that cool? And this one has washi tape on it and paper flower. This one, I just added some of these. This is the top, but added these to the side. And you can make these any way you want. This one, I put holes through it and put some twine on it, put a little flower there. And then I also added a pocket that has a tag in it. And then this one, I just put a ribbon on it and tied it on top. Very simple. Now, it was really easy to make this one. As you saw earlier in the video, I cut out the inside triangles inside. I used adhesive to stick them together, and then I cut off the excess because they were too wide for this small size of a box. And then that's what this piece is. This piece is the piece I cut off. I could also stick a tag in this side. You could add pockets to any of these. You can do so much with these. I just added ribbon here and just tied that on there, added these. These flowers, I think, are from the flower shop cartridge. I made these a long time ago. 
all these flowers I made a long time ago and forgot about them. So it was really easy. I just punched a hole in here and tied some twine through it. So you have to untie that to open up the box. It's very simple. Oh, and on some of these I inked the edges. You can see real good on this one. I just inked the edges. I did this one also. And this one I did with a brown. I did this one before it was folded up. Some of them I did after they were already boxed. This one I did before. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!